I just wanted to jump in here and go ahead and compile all of my garlic videos um, together. From starting cloves to harvest time and drying, just so that it's in one place for you guys, you guys can watch this one video, not have to watch like three or four separate videos to be able to get the information. Anyway, I hope that this is easier for you guys to kind of follow along and see um, the process. Yeah, so I hope you guys will enjoy. Garlic is usually planted in September or October, depending on your zone. I am in zone 5B for reference. I will be planting a hard neck variety. Hard neck varieties are better suited for colder climates. So this is garlic that I grew last year. You can also purchase these online or at your local store. What you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and separate the cloves into individual cloves. And you're going to plant these four to six inches deep and four to six inches apart. It doesn't have to be exact, but something like that. Now you're going to cover these with soil and we're going to water. Continue to water your garlic until your first frost. You may begin to see a little green garlic poke up out of the soil. That's okay. After the first frost, watering is unnecessary. Garlic will go dormant all winter long. When springtime finally comes, if it is wet enough, you shouldn't have to water your garlic too often. Pods will begin to appear on your garlic. You want to wait for them to do a complete loop before you cut them off. By cutting these scapes off, you are sending that energy that would be put into flowering back down into the bulb to make the garlic larger. These scapes are wonderful in stir fries and soups. Uh, they have a little bit of that garlicky taste. Uh, you don't want them to loop more than once, otherwise they become very woody. By late June, early July is about the time that you'll begin to harvest your garlic. Again, this is all dependent on your zone. The lower leaves and the upper leaves will begin to turn kind of a papery brown color as you see here. You could wait a little bit longer for the leaves to turn more brown uh, further down, but this is when I decided to harvest mine. At this stage, you could pull these up and take them straight into your kitchen to eat, um, but I decided to hang dry the majority of mine. Hang drying prevents the outer husk from molding and your garlic from going bad. Your garlic, after properly hung dry, should last you for around six to nine months. This was my first year growing garlic. I got some smaller ones and I got some larger ones. Here's a picture of me with my first harvest of garlic. I'm about nine months pregnant there. And here is the bounty of just half of a row. After harvesting your garlic, you're gonna bunch them together. I was trying to pick ones that were similar in size, just so when it came time to choosing ones to eat and choosing ones to replant, it was a little bit easier to pick bunches. They say to choose your largest garlic for replanting and eat your smaller garlic they say by doing it that way, your garlic will slowly over time get larger and larger. Lastly, you're going to hang your garlic so that it cures and dries. Um, what this does is it dries out the husk around your garlic so that it doesn't mold and that it will last for you. Allow it to hang dry for six to eight weeks and then they should be ready to store. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.